Hello. All right, guys, as promised, we have a, another Adriel Sigler update. Oh, real quick. Um, I don't have any lip balm on, but I'm still just drinking my coffee, so that's why. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything to update you guys on. It's been super, super hot here lately, like in the upper 80s to lower 90s, which for us is hot. And it's actually been pretty muggy as well, so that's not so much fun. But in a few months, it's going to be below zero. Our average temperature is going to be probably negative 10. Um, so I am not going to complain about the nice hot weather because we're going to be freezing our butts off in just a couple of months. So I hate complaining about hot weather, even though I just kind of did. Anyways, let's get into today's video. Okay, so as promised, we are doing an Adriel Sigler update. We're going to start off with something pretty light. Um, in my last video, I mentioned how Adriel has this, like, newfound crush on Bryce Hall. Well, I guess he commented back to somebody on one of her videos. Bryce Hall reacted to my video. Look at the comment I just made. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm sorry. I need it to be the most liked. I had my legs. Okay. They said, where'd it go? Stop. Where is it? Look what I said. Okay, Jocelyn. Am I the only one who forgot Bryce Hall was a person? Bryce said, did I fall off or something? Look what I said. Look what I said. I said. I said. Da, da, da. Drum roll. Drum roll. God, there's so many. I said. <laughs> Adrielle also compared herself to the Kardashians and thinks that she's a celebrity now. I'm a celebrity now. How would the Kardashians react to constant harassment? If a SWAT team swatted Kim Kardashian's home due to a false report being made against Kim Kardashian, how would Kim Kardashian respond? If a random man named Bruce from Montana filed a false police report against Northwest, hey, uh, is that the Galleria and uh, this kid, Northwest? spit on me i need to press charges for assault and as soon as possible seek justice how would the kardashians respond because the lengths crazy fans go to seek a reaction out of celebrities is unreal and the lengths crazy fans go to sue celebrities is even more unreal and i am fresh I'm a brand new celebrity. So I'm asking this question to learn how celebrities respond to constant harassment. Now, I think it was last night, Adriel did actually hit a million followers on TikTok, which is a pretty big deal. But a lot of people think that she is buying her followers, which to be honest, wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Although I do think that after so long like TikTok will catch on and will delete your account I think for buying followers I'm not 100% sure don't quote me on that I know that YouTube is extremely strict about that too you cannot buy subscribers on YouTube because your channel will get shut down so it's a risky game but um yeah so now that she has a million followers she thinks she's a, some big celebrity and someone compared her likes to other like vegan creators that have less followers than her and they get more likes than she does so that's why people are like mm, yeah you're famous like not for the right reasons you're infamous because people don't like you and they're like hate following you you know they don't like you so they want to see your content so they can like be annoyed by it and not like it and just like hate on it which i totally get because don't i kind of do that a little bit as well although i don't follow her so um but then in other news pretty big news actually um, we need to talk about Melanie. So Melanie's little sister is one of the girls that Adriel's son allegedly essayed. I've heard that there were up to four girls that he did this to. I'm not 100% sure. Like, we don't have facts. So I, I, I say that pretty loosely. Um, but Melanie posted a screenshot of something that her mother posted on Facebook. And it was just saying that Adriel's son you know like all the charges that they tried to um charge the kids who jumped him with all those charges had been dropped so none, none of those kids are gonna get in trouble adriel did try saying that that is not in fact true but we also know that adriel is a liar so 
there's that. But then in a TikTok live, Melanie talked about the charges against Adriel's son in the SA case. My sister signed the statement. Now S has a warrant for his arrest for SA. I just got texted that by my stepmom and my sister. Um, Y'all need to understand with these allegations, the state or whoever will not press charges and do a warrant unless they have 100% proof when they go in that courtroom. Boom. So all this, all, you know, innocent until proven guilty. Okay, that is in some cases, but with an SA charge, no, it does not. Amen. So I just want to come up here and say that, you know, I've not spoke a lot on this, but I know, you know, this is very serious. They're not going to do this. Just it's not a simple thing. So, but I'm so happy that justice is getting served. I'm proud of you, Melanie. And and then Adriel was also doing a TikTok live with this guy called Six Foot or something. And in that live, he asks her a question about you know something to do with going to jail. And Adriel kind of freaks out, and then she angrily quits their live. So here's that, just because I think it's kind of funny. If you had to feed everybody one meal in one day, what would it be? Just for one day before they go to jail. Jail? Yeah, let's say they, they're they convicted for... Let's say the government decided to put the whole world in jail. What would your first meal to them be? Bananas, blueberries, raw cashews, lots of water. I meant like food. Bro. I know, I'm talking. I meant like food. Bro. I'm talking. I don't even want to answer this question. You know what I'll get them? That's like dark. What? You know what I'll get them? I'll get them a smoothie. A what? I'll get them a smoothie. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'll get them an acai bowl because it's healthy. Are you literally making a reference to my son right now because people have a rumor that he's about to go to jail and I just made him a smoothie on TikTok Live yesterday? Is that what you're doing? Because that's not fucking funny. Because these people have been lying about him for months. And it's Adriel. like a shitty thing to lie about. Are you really doing Adriel. that right now? Adriel, I just had a food bowl. I'm talking about what I ate today, Adriel. What are you saying? I'm that's fucked up. No. No, that's fucked up. Taking... But other than that, not much new to report. There are some um, relatives of the victims in the SA case that have kind of talked a little bit on TikTok Live, but they have to be really careful because, you know, you're warned not to talk about it and, you know, um, keep an ongoing case, like, you know, pretty quiet until it's all finished and wrapped up. So um, they're very careful about what kind of information they do actually let out and then of course adriel does have some followers that still believe her lies and whatnot but that's on them i guess so anyways that's kind of what's been going on with adriel i promised you guys an update and i wanted to deliver i was kind of hoping we would have a little bit more info about the sa charges but you know since it's the u.s court systems it's gonna take forever and also i mean adriel's not really gonna talk about it unless it benefits her in some way so right now it doesn't it makes her and her son look bad so anyways my camera i think just died so i need to call it a video thank you guys for watching and i hope that you have a fantastic friday and a nice safe weekend bye guys